Let's pray. Psalm 145 verses 8 to 9 tells us, The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Father, we ask for your compassion on everything that you have made because, Father, mankind is at war. We continue through our conflicts. We continue to covet that which our neighbour has. We continue to desire things. Father, help us. We ask for peace in the Middle East, in Africa, in Asia. We ask for the end of bloodshed between uh, feuds, between cultures that have gone on for centuries. Father, we ask for godly speech and conduct for Christians all around our world. We ask that the Christian heart would be full of love for our neighbours and especially for our enemies. Father, help us to love our neighbour and enemy as you have already loved us. Father, help us forgive those who sin against us. And Father, help us to see the needs of our community and reach out with love. Father, you go on in Psalm 145. You talk about all that you have made will praise you, O Lord. Your saints will extol you. They will tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might, so that all men may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendors of your kingdom. Help us do this, Father. Help us tell people about the glory of your kingdom, about the kingdom that will come. In that sense, Father, we pray for our connect ministries, for scripture, for feast and crew. Father, we give you thanks for the privilege to go into our schools and teach kids about you. Father, we pray for our scripture teachers that they will continue to do this wonderful service uh, in love and in truth, that the kids there will hear your word and respond. Father, we ask that you will uh, help soften the hearts of those kids' parents and let them come along to things like feast and crew so that more people in our community will know about you. Father, we give you thanks for the leaders of feast and crew. We give you thanks for their uh, work. Sustain them uh, through this term and especially as they come towards the break, help them plan well for next term. Father, for ourselves, we ask that you will help us with those that we are praying for this year who are on our individual plans and those that we want to see to come to know you. Father, help us to pray for them regularly, help us to speak to them and to share the words about your kingdom, to just tell them about why we have such a wonderful hope in you. Give us confidence to do that and let us know that you are with us no matter. Father, the Psalm 145 goes on that your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your domain endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving towards all he has made. The Lord upholds those who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at their proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Father, we ask that we may eat on spiritual food, that we may continue to grow in Christ through our services, that we will come to a greater understanding of your love and compassion for us so that we may have love and compassion on others. Let us know you so that we may serve you. Let us know you so we may love others. Father, we think of those who are amongst us who are sick, suffering and grieving, you say, Lord, that you uphold all those who fall and you lift them up, that all those who are bowed down. And Father, we pray that you will do this with those of us who are sick, who are suffering and grieving. We ask that we may support them through this time and help them to know that they are loved brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray all these things in your name. Amen.